Welcome to East London Science School Reading, Iliad Book 24. My name is Cara and I'm going to be reading in English. After the funeral games, the men left the assembly and scattered, each to their own ship, ready for supper and then there fell a sweet sleep. But Achilles wept in remembrance of his friend and sleep that conquers all refuse to come. He tossed this way and that, regretting Patroclus' bravery and strength, remembering all they had done together and the hardship they had shared. Embroiled in war or on the cool sea, he shed great tears thinking of these things, lying now on his sides, his back or on his face. Each night he would stagger to his feet at last and wander grieving along the sand. Dawn would find him there as she lit the sea and shore. Then he would harness his swift team to his chariot and rope Hector's corpse to the rear. And when he had dragged him three times round Patroclus' mound, returned to rest in his hut leaving Hector's body stretched out on his face in the dust. Yet Apollo kept the flesh from being spoiled, pitying the warrior even in death, and he covered the body with his golden aegis so that Achilles could not damage the skin as he dragged the corpse along. Though Achilles in his anger tried to disfigure Hector, the blessed immortals felt pity as they watched and urged the sharp-eyed Hermes to steal the corpse. Though this thought pleased most of them. Hera, Poseidon and bright-eyed Aphne were opposed. They still hated sacred Ilium, Priam and his whole race because of Paris and his foolish error. In humiliating the two goddesses at the parade of at the parade by his shepherd's hut when he showed his preference for Aphrodite, praising her for furthering his sad lust. After eleven days of this, on the twelfth dawn, Phoebus Apollo dressed them all. Harsh and cruel you are, you immortals. Did Hector not burn the fires of unblemished bulls and goats for you? And yet you have not the decency, now he is dead, to rescue his corpse for his wife, his mother, his child to watch over, nor for his father Priam and his friends, who might then swiftly give him to the fires and enact his funeral rites. You would rather help this brute Achilles, whose mind is warped, his will of adamant. The, man, the man's heart is like a lion's. Wild and powerful is that creature's in its urge to slaughter the shepherd's flocks for meat. Achilles is somewhat, is, a, is as devoid of pity and of the shame that benefits men, urging restraint. Many a man loses someone closer to him than this. A brother born of the one mother or a son, yet when he has finished weeping and wailing he has done, since the fates grant men patient endurance. But this man having robbed Hector of life, ties him to his chariot and drags him round his dead friend's mound, as if that brought him honour or profit, great as he is. Let him be wary of our wrath, not disfigure the mute clay in his fury. But why armed Hera took exception to all this? That might make sense, Lord of the Silver. Vow if the gods valued Hector as highly as Achilles. But Hector was a mere mortal, suckled at a woman, a woman's breast, while Achilles is a child to a goddess. I nurtured her and reared her myself and gave her in marriage to Peleus, a, wa a warrior dear to us immortals, all of you. All you gods came to the wedding, and you Apollo were there yourself, sitting down to feast, eye in hand, your faithless friend of wrongdoers. Hello, my name is Benas, and I'm going to be reading the Iliad in Lithuanian. Zuisas debesus rinkies atsake, hera norimink savo pikti prašmus, šitie vyrai nebus pagerbti toligiai, ir dar iš visų mirtingųjų Iliume, hektoros buvo brangiausias devams, bent jau manis toks buvo. Nekada nepavėdė dovanodamas man dovanas. Mano autoriui nekada netruko aukojimo. Iš dalinimų jo mėsai ir gerimams, visoms aukoms, kuriuos yra mūsų privilegijos. Bet dabar nekalbėkime apie drąsaus hektoro lavono pavogimą, kad takėlas apie tai neišgirstų ir savo motinos, kurį jį lanko dieną ir nakti. Geriau vienas iš jūsų iškeskite man tetis, kad aš galėčiau jai duoti išmintingą patarimą kaip įkalbėti akilą, priimti išpirką ir atiduoti Hektorą atgal priemą. Eris buvo greita, kaip audros vėjas, kuris kovėjo nunešti žinę. 
Pusiau kelią tarp samo traso ir atviro imbroso. Jis įstrigo tamsuose oluose. Vandenyse. Jį nugrimždo į apačią, kaip žvezo tinklas. Jautų rago dalyje, kuri vilijoja guopšą žuvį ir pražutį. Šventuose oluose jį rado fetis, apsupta jūros nimfų. Jį nekinušia bepras mišką, savo sunaus likimą pasmerkė, jį mirti derlingoja su trojo žemėje. Tuolinų gimto žemės. Greita koja iris prieėjo ir tarė. Einam tetis. Greit. Nemirtingos iš minties dzūjusas kvietė tada. Kodėl didysis dzūjus dievas kviečia mane? Sidabrė koja dieve atsakė. Aš apimta šito giliaus lūdėsio. Man būtų gėda prisijungti prie nemirtingų. Bet aš eisiu. Viską, ką jis sako, tikriausiai yra pasvertas. Šitai pasakius, mėla dieve užsidėjo tamso veliumą, jodensi nejodą ir sekė iris ir pasakos, greitai kaip vėjas, gilį jūrą joms pasiskyrė ir kaip pasiekė pakrantę, jos pakilo į dangų, kur rado džiusą, apsupta visų palaiminto mirtingųjų. Atene, kuris stovėjo šalia kronos sunaus, užleido. Savo vietą ir herą davė jai tikro aukso taurę. Švelniai, maloniai ją pasveiko, pasveikino. Tada fetis atsigėra ir atidavė taurę atgal. Tada dievų tėvas ir vyrai kreipės į ją. O ne fetis, tu atėjai, žinau, turėdama kaliešiu, minčiu. Aš turiu pasakyti, kodėl tave iškviečiau. Mirtinge, ginčijas visas devynės dienas apie tai, kaip akilas elgės su hektoru lavonu. Jie nori, kad Hermesas sudavintų kūną. Bet aš verčiau gabrinčioj akilą ir laukčiau, kol tavo meilę ir pagarba ateis. Taigi, keliauk į jo stovyklą ir parduok, ką aš sakau, kad jis įpykte dievus. Sukelia mano rūstybę, laikydamas hektoro lavoną prie astirų laivų, užuoti gražinės. Ji atgal įtroja labai tikiuos, kad manęs įsigandęs jis gražins kūną. Bet aš pasiūsiu iris, kad padrašintų priamą ir pasakyk jam eiti prie graikį. Laivu ir pasiūlti išpirką už savo sūnų. Prašyti dovanų, kurios suminkštintų akilo širdį. Sidabrakoja dievi tetis, iškart pakluso. Leisdamas žemyn nuo Olimpo kalno, aukštumos į savo sunaus lūšnelį. Ten jį rado jį vis dar liūdinti, kol jo draugai ruožė pusryčius. Ten galėjo, ten gulėjo gaurotojo avino skerdenos, laukdamos dėmesio nemelyje. Jo didinką didinką motyvą atsisėdo šalia jo ir glostydama ranką ištarė. Vaikė, kiek dar gali kankinsi, kiek dar ilgai kankinsi savo širdį su ašarom ir gailieščiu, užmirštamas savo maistą ir lovą. 
Juk nebeturi labai daug laiko gyventi. Mirties šešino ir nevaldoma, ir nevaldomas likimas Mir, jau šalia tavęs. Paklausk manęs ir jie perdavę dzūjso žinę. Iš flai svinti, hektorų lavono ir priimti išpirka manis. La... Greitą kojus akilas nužvelgia ją ir atsakė. Jeigu tai tvirtas olimpiečių noras tebunė, taip. Tegul tas, kuris atneš tvirtą išpirka, išsines mirti. Priam, that godlike old man answered her. Don't try to prevent me going. I will not be persuaded. And don't you prove a bird of ill omen here. If any man on earth had spoken to me of this, even a priest or some diviner who reads the sacrificial entrails, I would have thought it false and rejected it the more. But I heard the voice of a goddess and saw her face to face. So I must go and fulfill her command. If I am doomed to die by the ship of the bronze-clad Greeks, then so be it. When I have clasped my son in my arms and wet my fill, then let Achilles slay me on the spot. So saying, he lifted the order of several chests from which he took 12 fine robes and 12 single-sided cloaks, with as many coverlets, white mantles and tunics also. He weighed out 10 talents of gold and had them taken outside, with two bright tripods and four cauldrons. And he even added a great treasure, a beautiful cup, a gift from the men of Thrace when he went on an embassy there. So eager was he to ransom his dear son fittingly. Then he drove out the Trojans, clattering the portico, rebuking them with his harsh words. Out, you shameful wretches! Have you nothing to grieve for at home then you come to trouble me? Is it not enough that Zeus has brought me sorrow, taking from the best of sons? You will soon know it too. You'll be easy meat for the Greeks now Hector is dead. As for me, I only hope I go to the house of Hades before I have to see the city plundered and laid waste. With this, he chased after them with his staff, and they fled from the angry old man. He shouted reproaches at his sons as well. Helenus, Paris, noble Agathon, Pamon, Antiphonus, Polites of the loud war cry, Dephobus, Hippothus, and Lordly Dius. He ordered all nine around at the top of his voice. Quick, you useless tribe, my, disgri my disgrace, would that instead of Hector, you were the ones who had died by the swift ships? Alas, my wretched freight. I had the best sons in all, in all the wide land of Troy, yet they are gone, every one. Godlike Mestor, Troilus, the fierce charioteer, and now Hector, a god among men, who seemed the son of a divine being, not of this mere mortal. War had taken them all, while you shameful creatures remain liars and wastrels, better at treading the dust and dance, or stealing lamb and kids from the field. Make ready the cart now and pile these things inside so I can be on my way. So he ranted and they, fearful of their father's anger, brought out the light mule cart, new and carefully made, and added the wicker frame on top. They took the box with yoke with its central boss and fine guide rings from its peg and carried it out with its 12 foot yoke band. They set the yoke carefully on the polished shaft in the notch at the end and slipped the ring over the pin. Then they bound it fast to the boss with three turns either way, then wound it round the shaft and, and tucked the loose end in. They carried the princely ransom for Hector's corpse from the treasure chamber and heaped the items on the wooden court. Then, then they yoked the sturdy mules, trained to work in harness, a glorious gift to Priam from the Mycenaeans. Last of all, they brought and yoked to, to his chariot, horses kept by the king himself, and fed at the gleaming manger. Hello, my name is Deborah, and I'll be reading this in Yoruba. Priam ati hero duo wa sonu si inu ironi wa lori ajafu awo omo ebewa lati wa asho idabobo ni bati hekabewa ba wa okufu idunu obe aga wira tu kufu ati wan oloi aw awo oturi re ki wa balefi juvasi ki waji ki wa Tolo or Sumo Keke Wipe, Nibe Ejuba Babazis, E Badura Fun, Bada, Bon, Lati, Ibude, Otta, Niwa Oko, Rehni, Kolo, Pelu, Bobo, Iamejimi, Badura Fu, Si Omo, Cronus, 
Olorun Ija ati awo sono Olorun Ija to boju wo bobo ore le troy ki o si bere fun eh lati fi aye kan o sa ki o si eni objeshe ki akia o sumo si o minu bobo awon aya jule olufe lati je ki oho ni o o tu re nitori ole si e ki aya red ati ki o ni ele ni lilo si awo eso eshe abo ni vizis kofu o ni e o ju in akso ti o o ya raya ra le hina ni lo ba o ni gam jo la ti koko awo oko o ju o ni ti o koja oko kosibi se le ro ya wo pri am da wun pe e mi yo si bi da o se da ba ni to ri o da ra la ti ba du ra la ti ya a ti be re fun a ni ni to ri na o so pe a ru ba do na be re o me bi wun ka la ti tu o me la ti lo ri o wo re o mu a go la ti ya ru ra a ti du ro ni a ri ti le e go o da o la ti o ti wa ni de le he no o wo o ju o ru si ba du ra lo ho Baba zis ti o logo a ti alabara ti o je o lo ri la ti i da je ki mi se a mi ru ni ni a ye ti asa. Hello, I am Maria and I am going to be reading in Romanian. Când partenerii trecuse pe robă care cea mare a lui Iulius s-au oprit la castrai și l-au s-au oprit pe lângă râu. Acum, la rău, hărmise, apropia intrarea ca ei văzorda, va vede, întrucat sală, priem, el a spus, a vede, termen priem, aici este, care are pentru este în perdere care nu va maceri mic mic se face să 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 care va trebui să cadem la pe cantrin lui și s-a opit la Mila. Hello, my name is Daria and I'm going to be doing Romanian. La aceasta, părul bătrânului stătea la capăt, iar mintea lui era plină de frică și de confuzie. Dar în timp ce stătea acolo, într-o uimire, ajutătorul se îndrepta direct spre bătrân și îi lua mâna și îl întrebă. Tată, unde te duci cu cătării și, că, și caii tăi? Prin noaptea sacră, când uh, muritorii obișnuit dorm. Nu vă temeți de grecii și de furia lor, un dușman fără rușine în apropiere? Ce ai face dacă unul dintre ei te-a văzut purtând comori prin noaptea întunecată? Nu sunteți niciunul dintre voi suficient de tineri pentru a vă împiedica atacul unui tânăr. Nu sunteți nici o amenințare pentru voi și voi fi apărarea voastră pentru că, sunt, pentru, că pentru mine sunteți imaginea tatălui meu. Priam, regele bătrân, a răspuns. Draga fiu, este așa cum spui. Dumnezeu mi-a întins mâna deasupra mea, căci el trimite un călător ca tine ca să-mi vină, un semn bun, pentru că ai o frumusețe minunată, o statură frumoasă și ești adevărat dacă aduceți această mulțime de comori nobile la siguranță într-o parte străină sau dacă fugiți cu toți de la Troi, în frică, căci ați pierdut cei mai buni uh, războinici și fiul tău bun, care nu a încetat niciodată să lupte împotriva ahilor. Prima m-a răspuns, cine ești tinere? Cine sunt părinții tăi? Vorbește atât de elocvent despre fiul meu nenorocos. Trimisul Domnului a cigașului 
Argos a răspuns, mă testez, văd lordul meu venerala, venerabil că mă întreb despre Hector. L-am văzut adesea în luptă unde se câștigă la slava. L-am văzut ucicând pe Agriv când îndus la corobii tând bărbați cu bronzul ascuțit. Și am stat acolo nemaipomenit că Achilles ne ținut înapoi, în mânia lui împotriva lui Agamemnon. Sunt însoțitor lui Achilles care a navigat aici cu el, unul dintre Mirmidonii, fiul lui, uh, fiul lui Șampia, pentru că în zori, achei sunt cu ochii strălucitori, se vor lupta pentru oraș. Ei uh, s-au săturat uh, să stea în picioare, iar Agamemnon nu le mai poate opri în dorința lor de război. Priam, bătrânul rege, a răspuns, dacă ești cu adevărat în Soțitorul lui Achille spune mi asta. Trupul fiului meu este încă pe vapoare sau Achille uh, i-a tăiat membrele și l-a îmbrășteat la câini? Um, hello, my name is Elia and I'm going to be reading in Filipino. Muli am slayer ng Argus ay sumagot. Ang mga aso at mga ibon ay hindi pa niya nilamon. Ang aking, makan- ang ating- ang aking matalinong Panginoon at ang kanyang bangkay ay natitili pa rin nakasihiga banda sa bangka ni Achilles. Nakahiga na siya dyan ngayon ng labing dalawang araw, pero hindi pa nawawala ang laman niya. Kahit pa kinain na ng mga uod yung katawan niya. Totoo nga na walang awang si Achilles ang humihila sa katawan ni Hector pa ikot-ikot sa nakasama niya kada bataling araw. Pero kahit madalas niya ito ginagawa, hindi pa rin niya mapinsala. Hahanga kapag nakita mo siya, sariwang sariwa. Wala kang makikitang dugo sa kanya o anumang bahid at lahat ng sugat niya ay gumaling na. Kaya dito makikita natin na inaalagaan ng mga, ng mga Diyos yung katawan niya dahil importante siya sa kanila. Ang isip ng matanda ay na babawasan ma- marinig ang kasabihang ito. Anak ko, mabuti na bigyan ang mga walang hanggang lahat ng narara- nararapat sa kanila. Sapagkat sa aking mga bulwagan at ang, kan- ang aking anak bilang tiyak na nabubuhay siya, hindi kailangan nakikalimutan ang mga Diyos na nagtataglay sa ng Olympus. At ngayon ay naaal na, ay naaala niya siya kahit na natug, natugunan niya ang kanyang wakas. Kunin mo ang pinang mangkok na ito at protektahan ako at makita akong ligtas sa kubo ni Achilles na may pagpaala na mga ng mga Diyos. Ang mensahero ng mensahero na ang slayer na, ng Argus ay muling nagsasalita. Ah, ah, ang aking karapat dapat na Panginoon dahil ako ay bata pa ay tinutukso mo ako. Ngunit hindi mo ako mata, matutukso upang makukuha ng regalo na walang kaalaman ni Achilles. Pinagtatawan pinagtatawan ako siya ng malilihim at natatakot na ibagsak sa kanyang kung ano ang dapat niyang baka masama akong mama, mamaya sa kaluunan. Gayon, gayon pa man ang gagabay, gagabayan kita sa ma, malu, maluwalahiting Argos at maghintay sa iyo ng ma- mabait na pansin habang naglalakad kami sa paglakad o sakay ng barko. At walang sinuman ang mag- manghangas sa pagka- pagata- pagata- pagatake sa iyo sa pagtingin sa inyong gabay. Sa pamagitan ng, patul- ng pagtulog ay sa, katul- sa katulong sa karwahe, kinuha ng latigo at mga bato at humihinga na sauriwang lakas sa mga kabayo at mga mula. 
nang sila ay dumating sa kanal at pad pader nang nagtatanggol sa mga bar barko ang mga gwardiya ay naghahanda na kanilang pagkain at sa Slayer ng Argus ay nagtatagal ng patulog sa kanilang pagpaligid. Itinulak ng mga bakal at buksan ang mga pintuan at pinalayas ang priyang sa, pang, sa pamamagitan ng kariton at mga regalo nito. Dumating sa kubo si Achilles. Isang mataas na bubong na, na itinayo ng Memridon para sa kanilang prinsipe na may mga bin na pinutol mula sa mga puno ng fur. Sila ay may punong na may rushes halaman at na ba, ba, bakuran ito sa mga pusta. Malapit set upang magkagawa ng isang patyo. At pintuan sa bakuran ay ginanap sa pamamagitan na, ng isang solong fur wood bar na kailangan ng tato, tatlong membro doon umupang itaboy ito sa bahay o ibabalik ito. Kung ngayon maaring mga gaw, magagawa ni Achilles ang nag-iisa, ang kanyang pintuan daan ay binuksan ni Hermes na para sa matandang hari bago ang malu maluwahitang balo kaloob na nakaalalan naka para sa mga paa ni Achilles pagkatapos ay lumuhod siya mula sa karwahe at nagsasabing ang ka karapat dapat ng Panginoon ipindala ako sa aking ama upang gabayan ka sa iyong lakad ito ang binitstan at walang kamatayan na Diyos, sapagkat ako ay si Hermes. Ngayon dapat nga iwanan kita bumalik at hindi makikita ni Achilles sapagkat mat mati para sa isang Diyos ay malaya sa pamagitan ang, ng isang mortal at na tao. Ngunit pa, dapat ka, kang pam pam pumasok at hawakan ang kanyang mga tuhod at tawagin ang kanyang ama ni si Peleus at ang kanyang ina na mga nag naginting sa ng mga buhok at ang kanyang anak at si Gaion na ay lumalapit ang kanyang puso. Hello, my name is Isam and I'm going to be reading English. With that, Hermes left for High Olympus while Priam climbed down from his chariot leaving Adeus to handle the horses and mules. The old king went straight to the hut, frequented by Zeus's beloved Achilles. He found him there, with only the warrior Automedon, frequent by warlike al al alchemist of all his friends. They were busy attending to his meal. The table stood at his side, but he had finished eating and drinking. Great Priam slipped in unobserved, and reaching Achilles, clasped his knees and kissed his hands. The fearful, man-killing hands that had slaughtered so many of his sons. Achilles was astonished at the sight of godlike Priam, as were his friends. They stared at each other, astounded, as men do in the hallway of a wealthy nobleman, when a stranger, who has murdered a man in a moment of frenzy in his own country, seeking refuge abroad, burst in on them. But Priam was already entreating Achilles. Godlike Achilles, think of your own father, who is of my generation, and so is likewise on the sad threshold of old age. Perhaps his neighbours are troubling him, and there is no one to protect him from harm, or ward off ruin. But he can at least rejoice in the knowledge that you live, and each day brings hope of seeing you return to Troy. Not one, not one is left, fifty sons I had. When you, Ache when you Achaeans had landed, nineteen... 19 by the one wife, and the rest by the ladies of my court. Most of them had fallen in furious battle, and a defender of the city and its people. My prime resources, recourse, Hector, you have killed, you have killed, and he fought for his country. I come now to the ships to beg his corpse from me, bringing a princely ransom. Respect the gods, Achilles, and show mercy towards me, remembering your own father. 
for I am to be pitied than he, since I have bought myself to do what no man on earth would do. I have lifted to my lips the hand of the man who killed my sons. His words moved Achilles to tears while he thought of his own father, and taking the old man's hands, he set him gently from him. While both were lost in memory, Priam remembered man killing Hector and wept out loud at Achilles' feet, while Achilles wept for his father, Peleus, and for Patro Patroclus, Pat Patroclus once more, and the sound of their lament filled the hut. My name is Isa, and I shall be reading in Arabic. Likin in dantama Achilles minalum book bu in tama shit to Huzani Fawa Kafa Faja atan min Husibi Fama Saka Malika Musinna Biadimi Limu Atimi Atimin Mood. Washahada Aksa Ala Shahli Mil Bain Lih Yatimi Bainda Wazababu Wazababu Biba Ra Inaka Lasta Mahdu Lakad Kul Al قل قل بقى شهر أكيلس من الحز حقا رغم أنك شح وقوي شح ذي جت وجهي عن يسوف إن لتوي موعدو للذي قتل قاصرا من اللبل Hello, I am Noah and I will be reading in German. Die Götter haben den Fahnen des Schicksals wie die elenden Sterblichen gesponnen. Wir leben in Trauer, während sie sorgenfrei sind. Zwei Urnen stehen in dem Palast von Zoos und sie enthalten die Erfahrung, die er die Menschen gewährt. Eine enthält Segen, die andere hält Übel. Die, die eine Mischung der zwei bekommen, treffen auf Glück und Kummer. Aber solche, solche denen der Donnerer nur aus dem Glas des Übels austeilt, wird ein Ausgestoßener. Aus Verzweiflung über das Augesicht der Erde getrieben. Ein Zielloser, weder von Göttern noch Menschen anerkannt. Seht, wie die Götter meinen Vater Peleus mit glorreichen Geschenken überhäuft. Von dem Augenblick seiner Geburt. Reichtum und Besitz jenseits an andere Männer. Konigtum der Myrmidonen und doch ein sterblicher Mann. Eine Göttin für eine Frau. Doch ein Gott brachte ihn auch das Böse. Keine Menge Fürsten, sondern einen einzigen Sohn, der zu einem und zeitigen Ende ver verurteilt war. Er wird von mir nicht betreut, denn ich sitze hier im Land Troja, weit weg von meinem eigenen Land und verletze dich und deine Kinder. Sie, mein alter Herr, sagen, sie waren einmal glücklich berühmt für ihren Reichtum und ihre Söhne in allen Ländern. Von der Insel Lesbos, auf der Makar regierte, über Oberfriegen, bis zum grenzenlosen Hellespont. Aber von dem Moment an, als die himmlischen Götter diesen erbärmlichen Krieg über sie gebracht haben, hat sich alles im Kampf und Schlachtung verwandelt. Bleib aus, lass dein Herz nicht ewig trauern, denn dein Sohn wird nichts erreichen. Du wirst ihn nicht wieder zum Leben erwecken, auch wenn das Leben die andere Sorge bereiten wird. Hello, my name is Nuwasi and I'm going to be reading in Tamil. Hector and Pinam Kamani Parilamal Kudisik Arehul Kudakum Pode in a Amurum Padika Kavandam. See us in Anbargale in Rupadisonan. Vaisana Arsan. Our Noda Udale Viraveha in Nidam Terringal. Avanainan in Noda Kankalala Parka Vandum. 
நான் தரும் பணத்தை எடுத்துக்கொண்டு மகிழ்ச்சியோடன் நீங்கள் உங்களின் சொந்த நாட்டுக்கு திரும்ப போய் வேண்டும் நீங்கள் ஆரம்பத்திலிருந்து என் மீது கருணையாக கொண்டிருந்த நீங்கள் நான் ஹெக்டரின் உடலை திருப்பி தர முடிவு செஞ்சு விட்டேன் என்னையே கெஞ்ச தேவையில்லை என்றான் வீரமுடிய அச்சிலஸ் இந்த கடல் தந்தையின் மகள் எந்த தாயா எனக்கு சியஸ் இடம் இருந்த ஒரு செய்தி அனுப்பியிருந்தான் என்னோட மனத்துக்கு அது தெரியும் அதை நான் மறக்க முடியாது யாரோ ஒரு கடவுள் தான் உங்களை என் கூடிய வான வைப்பான் கப்பல் நோக்கி அனுப்பி இருப்பார் இருக்கக்கூடிய மகிந்தர் என்னோட ஒரு வீரனோ ஏதோ புறத்தியம் நோக்கி வார துரிஞ்சிக்கிறார் என்னோட கவலையோட மீறி என்னோட இலையா தாண்டி தாண்டி வந்த பின் மேலும் என்னோட மன்னர் குழப்பி வீண்டாம் சியூசின் கடமையா மீறி உலகை நான் விடுவிக்கிறேன் My name is Nikesh and I'll be reading this extract in German. Der alte König von Angst ergriffen war leise. Dann, der Sohn von Peleus, rannte von der Hütte, gefolgt von seinen zwei Gefährten, Automedon und Alkimus, die geliebten seine Freunde nach den toten Patroklos. Sie machten die Maultiere und Pferde los, gebrangt ihn den alten Königs Herold, sein Schrei, und bot ihnen einen Stuhl an. Dann, aus den guten gemachten Wagen, sie hoben das fürstliche Lösegeld für Hektors Körper ab. Sie haben zwei Umhänge und eine feine Tunike dort gelassen, so damit die Leiche in sie eingewickelt werden kann, bevor er zu Priam gegeben hatte, für ihn es zu Hause zu bringen. Achilles dann beschworte zwei Dienermädchen und bestellte sie, das Körper zu waschen und salben, erstens es wo auch immer legen, wo Priam nicht seinen Sohn sehen kann, damit sein Trauer über den Anblick seinen Sohn nicht erregt und Achilles in der Antwort verregert sein und töte ihn trotz des Be Befehls von Süß. Wenn die, wenn die Dienermädchen haben das Körper gewäscht und es gesal gesalben mit Öl und es angezogen in der feine Tunika und es mit Umhänge entwickelt, Achilles ihn selbst legte es auf die Bier und, und er und und er und seinen Gefährten hebten es im hölzernen Wagen. Dann seufzte er und nahm seinen toten Freund bei seinem Namen an. Patroklos, sei nicht verregert. Wenn auch im ha Haus von Hades du erfährst, dass ich es Elden Hector zu seinem lieben Vater zurückgegeben habe, wer einen fürstliche Lösegeld gegeben hat. Auch von das, du wirst deinen rechtmäßigen Anteil haben. Mit das, den Elden Hector kommt zu der Hütte und zurück und, und setzte sich wieder auf seinen reich eingelegten Stuhl gegenüber Piams, sagte er, er wündiger Herr, dein Sohnskörper ist gelegen auf ein Bier und Ich werde es freigeben, wie sie es wollten. Im, Morgen, im Morgensgrauen können sie ihn suchen und, ich, und ihn zurücktragen. Aber lassen sie uns jetzt essen. Sogar langherriger Niobe glaubte schließlich, schließlich zu essen. Obwohl ihre zwölf Kinder es sechs töteten, sechs Söhne im besten Jahren getötet worden waren. Apollo ist, ist wütend, dass Niobe so viele Kinder ge gezeugt hatte, im, geboren hatte, die Söhne mit Pfeilen aus seinem silbernen Bogen tötete, während seine Schwester Artemis die Töchter getötet hatte. Das Paar tötete sie alle und ließ sie neun 
Tage lang in ihrem Blut liegen. Da sie die, Me die Menschen zu Stein gemacht hatte und niemand die, die Leichen gebrauchen könnte. Am zehnten Tag wurde sie von Himmelschimmel getönt. Geturnt, beerdigt, hat Niobe erschöpft von ihrem Kummer. Nachnung erhalten. Nun selbst du Stein geworden, steht sie zwischen den Klippen und an den verlassenen Hängen des Siplos, Siple, Sipilos von Männer sagen. Die Nymphen, die am Ufer des Achilles tanzen, ruhen sie aus und Brüten auf den Sorgen, die die Götter in geschickt haben. Komm, lass, lass uns auch in Herren erwüde her. Im Flium kannst du deinen Sohn noch einmal beklagen und mit Tränen über ihn trauen. My name is Joanna and I'm going to be speaking Polish. Staje prędko i owce z ni z runem sebreczystym oddali towarzysze na stuku poszelki i przypawiwszy mięso na roznach upiekli. Kładą na stół a chleby, które w kościach mieli. Automedon rozdaje pelid Mięso z dzieli, przygotowana usta do smaku przypadła, a kiedy już dość mieli napoju i jadła, stary przyjem nie spuś, spojrzał z Achillesa oka, drzwi go krzystał nad ludzi i pod i podczak wysoka z łądzą poznania starca w Akilu ta sama zadzwija go powaga i mądrość priama w zadzimieniu wzajemni chwilę pozwól pierwszy Rzekł Priam, niech się sem zasile. Odtał jak sygnał Hektor z tobą w pojedynku. Nie tylko nie użyłem żadnego spokoju, ale na ziemi leżąc w popieli się tarzał. Łzy lom. Łzy lecz bez przerwy jęczył, wdychał i rozpisał o siebie wziąłem Baka i Dmitry Dary. My name is Jonas and I'm gonna, I'm gonna be reading this piece in Arabic. الآن أكيليز أمر أصحابه والخادمة أن يعدوا الأفشة في الرواق وأن يغطوا الأسرة بأفعار البطانيات الأرجوانية وغطاء صوفي لتبقى الزوار دافئين غادرت الخادمات والمصباح في أيديهم وبسرعة انشغلوا بإتمام المهم ثم أكيليز تكلم مع برايم في لهجة باردة يجب عليك أن تنام بالخارج يا, يا أيها السيد الجليل في حالة مجيء واحد من العدد الذي لا يخصى من المستشارين لدى أخيون للتفاوض معي إذا رأوك في الممر السريع المظلم من الممكن أن يسرع إلى الملك أجامنه ومن ثم ستتأخر عودة الجثة الآن كل الحقيقة كم من الوقت تحتاج لقيام جنازة هكتور النبيلة سأبقى الهدنة لهذه الفترة من الزمن وسأوقف في الجيش الملك الإله القديم أجاب ستقدم لي معروفا كبيرا يا أكيليس إذا أعطيتني الوقت وسمحت لي بدفن هكتور أنت تعرف المدينة محاصرة والشعب طرواد خائف أن يجمع الخشب من أعالي التلال سنرثي هكتور في القصر لمدة تسعة أيام ثم نجد الطقوس في اليوم العاشر وفي اليوم الحادي عشر سنشيع الجنازة ونعد الولائم للناس 
وإذا طرنا سنحارب في اليوم الثاني عشر رد أكيليز قال قائد الأسطول سيكون ما قلت أيها الشيخ إبراهيم وأنا سأوقف الجيش خلال هذه الفترة ولذلك شد على يده اليمنى للتأكيد عليه وبعد ذلك إبراهيم وإديس الرسول ذهبوا إلى النوم وأذهانهم تعج بالأفكار بينما نام أكيليس في الراحة الداخلية في كوخه المبني ببراعة وبجانبه الجميلة برايسوس Hello, my name is Khadija and I'm going to be reading this in French. Le déu et le guerrier, submergés par les sommets, passeront la nuit en sommet, mais pas Hermès, l'assistant, qui réfléchissait à la façon de conduire, priant de navire, sans être mis à défi, prend de filet, gardé de portail. Finalement, debout à la tête du lit de Priam, il lui dit « Veux, Seigneur, maintenant à Chile, ta impagné, il semble. Que même s'il est toujours un toit de ennemi du tour sans souci, vous avez rechette votre fils pour une somme préjugée, mais celle que vous devrez donner sera trois fois plus de à trois de ceux, l'une des guerriers trouvisse. Le vieil homme civil, de pur et réveilla, le héros Hermès attacha le nuit et le fégeau. Et sans être détecté par lui, cheveux et sans être détecté par le ennemi, le mena silencieusement. Ça tous ses nobles fleuves et gendres. Par Imotène Zeus et Hermès, les deux hommes conditionnels savaient rendre jusqu'à le Cassandor, aussi belle qu'Aphrodite. Doré de Hété, le Pergame, la vide Codeux, son chat. Et Héro, crieur de la ville, conduit le chat à muler. Vicky, je sais, la sur la bière. Elle poussa en grande le cri et appela la ville d'en bas. Hommes et femmes de Troie se veulent. Hector rêvé de bataille. Venez maintenant le regarder, c'est lui qui porta. Juste sans pareil, la ville et ses habitants. Bientôt la ville se vide, plonge dans un cheveu insupportable. Tu crois à la porte et près de recontement aquilé, je remène ce bord à la maison. La femme bien, âme et le mère royal d'Hector se sont jetés à la charron et l'enseigne déchira le cheveu tandis que la grande foule de surpluré et il auront été là devant la porte, la lamentant toute la journée jusqu'à ne le avait pas appel du chat. Laissez le mieux passer et quand je l'aurai amené à la paix, alors vous vous prendre vous sa trop lamentant. Hello, my name is Titus and I'll be performing this piece in Lithuanian. Priamo prošimo mene pasiskirste ir padarė kelią link karučio. Šeima palidėjo iki karaliaus rūmų ir paguldė kūno ant medinės lovos. Ir pakvietė horo dainininkus asistoti šalia, dainuoti palaidojimo gėsmes ir raudoti. Baltą rankį ant dromakė pradėjo raudoti pirma, supodama vyro žudiko Hektoro galvą. Vyrė, tu miriai per jaunas, palikdamas našlė rūmuose, Ir savo sūnų, kur mes, jo nelaimingi tevai, atnešėmi pasaulį, jis vis dar kūdikis ir aš bijau, kad jis niekada neužauks į vyrą. Šis miestas yra pasmirktas pažučiai, nes tu, pražuvai, tas, kuris jis sergėjo, tas, kuris sergėjo jo žmonas ir vaikus, kurie kartu su manimi bus įkalinti tuščiuose kveivuose. Tu, mano vaikė, eisi su manimi ir griežtam šeimininkui, Įsakius atliksi jo patikėtas užduotis. 
O gal dar blogiau, kažkoks graikas sulaikys tave už rankos ir nutems tave nuo sienos į tavo mirtį. Supykęs, nes Hektorius dužudė jo broli, tėvo, sūnų, nes daug kakrėnų krito nuo Hektorio rankos. O tavo tėvas kovoje stokojo pagarbos. O dabar, Hektorai, visi miesto žmonės tavęs raudoja. Ir kokia neapsakoma sielvarta tavoji mirtis atnešė tavo tėvams. Karčiausias sielvartas iš visų yra mano, nes tu numeriai savo lovoje, tiesdamas į mane savo rankas, tardamas švelnius žodžius, kurios aš būčiau branginės su ašaromis dieną ir naktį. Tokia buvo jos rauda ir moteris jai perdavė visą savo sielvartą. Dabar Hekabe, esi jautusi, perėmė laidotuvio gėsmę. Hektorai, meliausias man iš visų mano vaikų, buvai mylimas, dievų, kai buvai gyvas. Tiesi rūpina jie tavim ir tavo mirtyje. Spartėji akilai pagrobė iš manęs kitus vaikus, pardavė jos už nepailsinčios padengtos dūmais, jūros soma frakė, imbros ar lemnos. Jis tave nužudė su aštrė bronza ir nutempė tave už savo draugo patriklo, kuri tu nužudėjai, karučio, tačiau tai jo neprikėlė iš numirusių. Ir štai, tu čia, guli, gaivus, lyg rasa, lyg būtum, ką tik numilės, lyg būtum vienas iš tų, kurios Apolo būtų nušovis iš savo švelniausios sidabrino lanko strėlės. Tad jį raudojo ir skatino nesibaiginti sėlvartą. Dabar Helen pasakė jos pavyzdžių su trečia rauda. Iš vaizdusis Hektorai, meliausias man iš visų mano trojos brolių, paris mano dievus primenantis vyras, atvedė mane į šią trojo žemę, galėjau numirti aš tada ir ten. Praėjo jau dvidešimt metų nuo tada, kai aš palikau savo tėvynę ir per visą laiką aš neišgirdau iš tavęs nei vieno griežto ar užgaulijančio žodžio. Jei šiuose rūmuose prie manęs dar kas nors prieitų, tavo broliai seseris, tavo brolio gražosios žmonos ar tavo motina, o tavo tėvas toks man buvo toks pat geras kaip manasis. Tu būtum nuvyjęs jų rūstybė ir sulaikęs jos su švelniais veiksmais ir žodžiais. Tad aš gersiai tavęs selvartauju, širdies selvartauju ir savęs nelaimingos, nes visoje trojoje daugiau nėra nieko, kas galėtų man būti švelnus ir kilnus. Tad kai aš išeisiu, visi drebės. Hello, my name is Jordina and I'm reading Portuguese. Enquanto mãe e filho trocavam palavras aladas a lados dos navios, Zeus manda eles para a Sagrada Eliana. Saindo de limpo, seria o mais rápido que puder, e fale para o bravo Priam de Troia para ir até os barcos dos gregos e resgatar o corpo de seu querido filho, levando presentes para aqueles que irá derreter com seu coração. Fale para ele sozinho, para não levar mais ninguém de Troia, exceto um dos arautos mais velhos, para conduzir o leve carro de mula que carregará a vítima de Aquiles, de volta para a cidade. Fale para ele não temer a morte ou qualquer outra coisa, porque nós lhe consideramos o melhor dos guias, Hermi, que o acompanhará até Aquiles. Uma vez chegando à cabana de Aquiles, ninguém o machucará. Ele não encontrará um Aquiles estúpido, insensato, matador, porém alguém que com bondade púrpura e suplicante. Essas foram suas palavras e ele, rápida como uma tempestade de vento, levou a mensagem. Ela foi para o palácio de Priam, onde o palácio se encontrava cheio de cinza e lamentações. Com seus filhos sentados ao seu redor, suas vestes encharcadas de lágrimas. Lá no meio do pátio estava o antigo rei envolto por seu manto, sua cabeça e pescoço sujos de terra pelas suas mãos que esfregavam o chão. Ao longo do palácio, suas filhas e nórias estavam lamentando pelos nobres guerreiros do exército que perderam suas vidas nas mãos dos gregos. Eles, mensageiro, mensageiro de Zeus, foi até Priam e disse, Acalme-se, Dardanian Priam, renuncie de todos os medos, eu não estou aqui como um oral do mal. 
e sim com as melhores intenções. Eu trouxe uma mensagem dos céus que, embora longe, ele ainda se importa e sente dó de você. Ela repetiu os desejos de Zéus e partiram. Então Primo ordenou seus filhos que arreasse um leve carro de mula com armação de vime. Ele mesmo desceu para sua câmara de tetos alto e com fragrância de madeira de cedro, onde estava cheia de objetos preciosos. Ele chamou sua esposa Recabe e disse, Minha senhora, recebi uma mensagem mandada por Zéus me dizendo para ir até os barcos dos gregos e escatar o corpo do nosso querido filho com presente para derreter o coração de Aquiles. Eu me sinto na obrigação de ir ao acampamento dos gregos e seus barcos. Mas me o que acha. Recabe gritou com suas palavras e disse Ai de mim, aonde agora está a sabedoria na qual você é famoso por aqui no exterior? Como é que você pode ir até os barcos gregos e encarar um homem que massacrou todos os seus bons filhos? Seu coração deve ser feito de aço. Uma vez você está na presença dele, no momento que ele bater os olhos em você, aquele bruto monte selvagem, traiçoeiro, não vai demonstrar misericórdia, nem respeito. Vamos chorar com nosso filho aqui no corredor. Esse foi o destino que foi dado para meu filho em seu nascimento para saquear os cães de corrida longe de nós. Seu cadáver preso por aquele homem violento. Eu gostaria de poder chegar até Aquiles e arrancar seu coração com meus dentes e devorar. Isso retribuiria pelo que ele fez para meu filho, que mostrou não ser um covarde quando foi morto, lutando para defender os homens e as mulheres de Troy, sem pensar em sua própria segurança. Olá, eu sou Mr. Anderson. Eu vou ler em ancient Greek. Hos efatu claus epi destene demos apeiron. Laosin do geron pliamos meta muthon eipen. Axete nun troes, xula astude, men detitumo. Desta geion pukinon lochon. Erga achilleos, pempon mo depetele, melaunon aponeion, me prin Pemene en prin, do decate mole eios. Os afe, hoi dub mac amaxinsin, voes emionus te zug nusan. Aipsa de peta pro asteios e gerethonto. Enemar mentoi ge agineon aspeton hule. Alote de decate efane. Fai simbrotos eios, cae pota exeferon, frasun hectora da cruz eontes. Ende pure hupate necron thesan, en de balon pur. Emos derigenea, fane horodactulos heios. Temos a amfi pure cluto, hectoros e egreto laos. Alta, epe, eregethen, home gereyes, tegenonto, proto men kata, pukayen, svesan, aithopi oino, pasan, hoposon, epeske puros menos, alta epeita, ostea luka, legonto, kasigenontoi, hetaire, temuro menoi, thaleron, te catebeto da cru pareion. Cai tagge cruceien es la naca theke elontes. Porforeius pemploisi calupsantes malacoisin. Aipsa da es coilen capeton thesan. Alta hupethe fucnoisi laisi catestore san megaloisin. Puc noisin, rimfa de sem echean, peri de scopoi heato pante. Me prin e fo metheen, eucre mides achaioi. Xuantes de tosema palinkion, auta epeita, eu sunageromenoi, dai nunt ericudea daita, domasin e priamoi diatrefeos. Basileos, hos oi 
gam via pentaphon Hectoras Hippodamioi. And so was the funeral of Hector, tamer of horses.